found an update regarding the work of Viktor Grabenikov. If you're not familiar with his strange research, I have the information in the video description. Seems that the bug that Viktor Grabenikov was experimenting with may have been identified. This is in Italian, so I had to translate it onto Google. It says, Here are some movies recently published on a Russian forum. We cannot guarantee that the videos are real or counterfeit. The quality of the MP4 file received is very bad, but they are probably taken with a cell phone. It seems a bug has been identified whose elytra occur the same phenomenon encountered by Viktor Grabenikov. In the pictures, you can see the magnification of the surface of the elytra, E-L-Y-T-R-A. In a future report, we will examine the allegation made by an alleged witness who was seven years old when he saw a demonstration of the same VSG, showing the construction scheme described by this person. The insect would be a water beetle, perhaps a copy of file history adult. Who created the video describes the behavior of these insects. They leap out of the water before falling into taking flight. And here are some of the videos that we can go over right now. He has one of the shells attached to a razor blade. And all he's doing is touching one shell to the other shell. And the other shell spins. So that's showing that there's some sort of vortex quality to the shells when they touch each other or when they're oriented in certain positions. Viktor Grabenikov called it the cavernous structure effect, or the CSE effect. And let's go to the next video. Here's the second video. He has one of the half of the shells in metal tweezers, drops it over the other shell. And then that shell runs away from his tweezers for some reason. And drops it over it again. And it seems to magnetically repel. I was encountering the same phenomenon when I was messing around with a bee's body. I separated the front half and the back half and they acted like two magnets. But these they want to repel. He has them open end to open end. Doesn't seem to be working. And he flips it the other way around. And it jumps off. Definitely moving. So he has a tiny piece of paper just folded in half. And he's waving it over the paper and there seems to be a reaction like a magnet to copper like a diamagnetic reaction or paramagnetic reaction. There's some sort of eddy current.
Here's the third video. He has sort of a metal pyramid. Looks metal. About one of the half of the shells. Putting it on a piece of wood. Just like Victor Grabenikov did. He's bringing the piece of wood over the pyramid or near it. Oh, when he brings the wood over the pyramid, the shells are moving on top of the wood. Like piezoelectricity. A lot of people have speculated that there's some sort of torsion energy field above a pyramid. Some sort of vortex energy, double helix. Here's the fourth video. This doesn't seem to work. So let's go to the fifth. This one has sound. That is just levitating over that. Let's replay that again. If anybody speaks Russian, might be able to hear this and translate it. Начинается опять. Выше не поднимается. Странно. Нижняя на клавиатуре начинает ездить. And one more time. Упало. Начинается опять. Выше не поднимается. Странно. Нижняя на клавиатуре начинает ездить. 